friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of Columbia University's gym and also take you along with me on day 3 of orientation leader training. It's our last day of training so we will be having our crew olympics and lifer ceremony. So let's get right into it. Good morning everyone. Today is day 3 of OL training leading up to NSOP. Right now it's 7 o'clock a.m. I woke up at like 6.30 without an alarm and now I'm going to go to Dodge Gym because I have time. And my voice still sounds scratchy because it's my morning voice. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think Dodge opens at 6 a.m. So there probably shouldn't be that many people there right now. I don't know if people are early risers, but yeah, I'm gonna go and show you guys what it looks like. So nice and peaceful. You can hear the crickets chirping still and the gym is only it's really close and you can just walk inside campus this is earl hall this is home to our religious center and then dodge is just right over there past the scholars lion hey in here so you just have to walk down these steps oh my god Okay, and this is the fitness center, and then over there, do you see those, those setups? It's for chemistry lab, we had chem lab here, and there was a pigeon. They're not scared of humans anymore. And you have to wear a mask indoors. Hi, good morning. Um. Here we are in Dodge Gym. After swiping in, I made a right, and now I'm headed down the hall to the equipment room. So here we see the TV. This usually displays Columbia Athletics social media information. We have a water fountain, vending machines, and this is the equipment room. On the day that I filmed this, the equipment room was closed, but usually you can just tell them what you want, swipe your ID, and you should be good to go. You just have to make sure you return whatever equipment you borrowed at the end of your session. So just as an overview, the gym primarily consists of three levels. We are currently at the upper level, which is where you see this blue track running all the way around. One important thing to notice is the sign on the wall that shows you the running direction. So on Mondays, make sure not to run to your left. I'm walking on the, what's it called? Track. <laughs> I don't know if I'm walking in the right direction, but there's no one else here. Here is like the rowing, is it rowing? Like weight training area, but sometimes there's like, rowers in here with their big machines and this is actually Dean Tini. Dean Tini is Dean Valentini and he's the the Dean of the college, Columbia College. And there's me. From the upper level of the gym, you can basically see the entire tri-level fitness center. The top level consists of treadmills, some weight machines, and stretching areas. The middle level consists mostly of weight training machines, free weights, and barbells. And here's a little glimpse into what that looks like. And the lower level consists of more cardio machines, weight training machines, barbells, and free weights. Also on the lower level is the University Gym, also known as the Blue Gym. This is not our official basketball court, but it is sometimes used for intramural basketball. It's also used for soccer, volleyball, and badminton. And there's this little tucked away area that people usually use for stretching or light weights. And luckily, no one is here today, so I'm gonna actually use this spot. Today, I'm gonna be doing Natasha Oceans Ultimate Dumbbell Only Full Body Workout. I started doing her workouts and other YouTube workouts over quarantine and I found them to be really helpful for keeping myself on track. 
I'm not gonna lie, it was really, really tiring, but it felt really good afterwards. So from here, there are multiple exits I can take to leave the gym, but I'm actually gonna go through this way. And you can see that there is a long hallway where there's a loading dock and the Columbia Wrestling Team practice room. If I keep going down and make a right, the doors in front of me lead to the pool. If you want to see what the pool looks like, it's actually in one of my other vlogs, so be sure to check that out. I will link it up top. Making a left from here, I'm headed towards the basketball courts, and these are the official ones that the varsity team plays in. As I filmed, I heard some noises coming from the inside, so I think people were actually practicing inside, and I didn't want to disrupt them. But the inside of the gym is actually in one of my other vlogs, so be sure to check that one out too. Okay, so it turns out they were having volleyball practice in there and all the girls that came out were so tall. So that's basically it for the gym tour. The other areas of the gym are reserved for varsity athletes and locker rooms, etc. So you can imagine what those are like. And now I'm just gonna head out because I need to prepare for a full day of orientation leader training. One hour later! All right, I'm headed to breakfast now. I just took a shower after the gym and as you might be able to tell, today is a very orange day, even my shoes. Because for the Crew Olympics, each crew is assigned a color and ours was orange. And if per item of clothing that you wear that is orange, you get points. So I had an orange t-shirt I was thinking of wearing, but I was like, these two count as two pieces of clothing. So I was like, probably bonus points. So I just wear this. One minute. 37 seconds later. So it turns out Ferris closed at 9.30. I think it was maybe from like 8 to 9.30 it was breakfast. And I got there at 9.50. So <laughs> I just came back to my room and I'm just gonna eat some fruit. I got a banana and some apples and kiwi. And then I have this big water. This is our crew. We have our orange here. And then you can see like all the different colors. Well, kind of. It's supposed to be all different colors. Call your names, come down, grab your certificate, and everyone's gonna cheer for you. Here we are at the NSOF lifer ceremony. Essentially, a lifer is an orientation leader who has served as an orientation leader for all possible years in undergrad. So for me, that was sophomore year, junior year, and now senior year. Huge shout out to Ailey and Marie for helping me to film this. Both of them watched my channel before coming to Columbia. You'll meet them in one second. Okay, we just came out of our OL meeting and here's Ailey. And Hi, that's it. Hi, that's crazy because I just I literally just saw your comment when yeah. we were in there. Oh my gosh. So Hi. now they are sophomores? Yeah. yeah. And OL too, which yes. is awesome. Oh my gosh. And shout out to Caroline. I'm so proud. Like, this is so I'm so excited. So excited. Yeah. This is like actually so fun. Okay. Oh my gosh. We are out of training early, so I'm gonna go back to my room. <laughs> and then okay. we're gonna get lunch at noon. So yeah. Okay, bye! Bye. I got a fish taco with some sauce and beans on the side and then I got something from the vegan station which is like the spinach and sweet potato and hummus and quinoa. Alright, Ailey and I just finished lunch and you can see colorful people here now which means that it's time for, almost time for the Crew Olympics. Yeah! Way to take the worst for the Crew Olympics, we had field games, trivia games, banner decoration games. I stuck to the banner one because it was really hot outside and the banner required the least movement. And also it was a chance to practice my artistic skills. This is Butler. We're just inside for a little bit of AC and cool air. Okay, we're doing round two now. Justin and Claire are doing the spelling bee. Are you guys gonna win? Yes. Oh, Woo! Yeah. Oh. No red. <laughs> After finishing our banner, we're filming our welcome video for all new students at Columbia this year. Then afterwards, we went back inside Learner to play the song association game. 
This was the last game of our Crew Olympics and the premise is to sing a song for 10 seconds that either contains the word that is given or that fits the theme chosen by the committee. Under pressure, this game actually was quite stressful, but it was a good kind of stress. <laughs> okay, so we're at dinner now and it was just raining after a really sunny day. So you see a rainbow and we see our food. Hi James. I feel like I'm featured too many times in your video. <laughs> we both got the burrito. It's like a, chick a Korean chicken fusion thing and then the catfish and the potatoes. I got the same thing. Except I also got carrots. Very healthy. And I think this is like barley. Actually, I don't know what it is, but it's a grain. And then I got seltzer and tea and a salad. Hi guys, right now it is around eight o'clock. I just finished dinner um, and I had a nice chat with my friends and I also got my NSOP wristband. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be on my arm for a whole week. I don't wanna take it off because I know if I do, I'm gonna lose it. So I'm just gonna keep it on my arm. Um, right now I'm gonna go take a shower and then I'm going to try to edit my videos and get some work done. Um, this Sunday, our new students, the first year new students move in. My combined time students move in this Tuesday. But we're all gonna be just helping out wherever we can. And the noise you hear, or the sound you hear, is the sweet sound of the AC. That is good news, because it's been really hot these days. Except it also rained today, so yeah. That's why there was a rainbow earlier, did you see that? Okay, anywho, I'm gonna go do what I just said I was gonna do, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!